I'm Russ from David French Music. I'm one of the string technicians here. And uh, today we're going to work on uh, rosining your bow properly. So, when you first get your violin, you'll pop open the case, you'll grab your bow, and if you watched our tightening video, you already have your bow nice and tight, ready to play, then you need to rosin it. So, you'll need one more thing. Actually, a couple more things. You need your rosin, which is in the pocket of your case, as well as maybe a paper clip. Now, first thing you do is actually prep your rosin. You're gonna take your paper clip and just scrape the top of it. And it's gonna create these white lines on your rosin. This is preparing it so it has some grab onto the bow when you start rubbing it on. So you go down one way, then you go across the rosin just to get a little bit more friction out of it. Now your rosin's prepped. Now what you'll wanna do is grab your bow. Uh, you can hold it in your traditional grip uh, with your fingers, your thumb at the bottom of the frog, your index finger right at the grip, pinky at the screw and everything else, just kind of holding by the fingertips, or you could do it upside down. Now, I've been doing this for a while, so that was pretty quick to flip it there. But you can hold it upside down, then you can see exactly what your rosin is doing. So you take your rosin, you start at the frog, and just rub gently down from the frog, or from the frog, up to the tip. Now the aim is here is to get a nice white on your bow, right? And that way you know that there's enough rosin on it, right? Because your bow, when it's brand new, is going to be probably this uh, little off-white, little beige color. And you just rub your rosin on. And it takes a little bit. It takes some patience, takes some time. But once you get it, should be able to use that without re rosining for about a week, as long as you're practicing every day, which is what you should be doing. Now, if you notice here, there's a difference in color the base of the bow where I was rosining with the frog and the tip. That's the color you want. You want that slightly off white. Now, I had one already prepared, just like in the cooking shows. <laughs> right here so you can see how a prepared bow looks. It's going to be uniformly white or off-white from frog to the tip. And that's how you rosin your bow.